Hey guys, so this is a review on some headlights I bought for my car from a place called Umnitsa. Um, they're called the Projector 39 Heller style with Orion LED Angel Eyes. So what I've done here is I've just written down some notes of my experience with the whole thing and I'm just going to read off the read off the notes here and um, let you know my experience. So basically my car was at my, my mate's shop getting some work done to it. While it was there I was organising some parts and things like that so these headlights were one of them. One of the additions I was going to fit to the car while it was taken apart and things like that. So um, I read mixed reviews about these. You know, I read that customer service may not have been that good, or the lights people had issues with them. But I was, I was willing to definitely give them a chance myself. So, like I said, these are from Umnitza, U M N I T Z A dot com, I think it is, and it was a Projector Thirty Nine Hala style. Uh, I've got the FXR retrofit with adapters, they were 50 watts, so they're the Zenon, um, Zenon uh, ballast and adapters, and I've got the 6000 Kelvins at 55 watt uh, globes, and the Orion V4 120 LED um, Angel Eyes, which were really bright, they're, I think they're the brightest in the world, and I'd probably agree, they're really bright. So $1,253.70 US, and I think they're about 1500 around that area. <laughs> Australian dollars. Um, so firstly, I ordered them. The order process is pretty easy. The website's pretty easy to navigate. Um, the delivery, so I ordered them on the 10th of November um, and I asked for an update on the 24th because I hadn't heard much about them. They actually build these by hand. So they get a usual headlight, they fit all the stuff into it then they send them off to you. So understandable, these things take a bit of time. Um, I asked for another update on the 4th of December and I received them on the 14th of December, so nearly a month, um, sorry, a bit over a month, um, but like I said, they hand build them, so it's not something, and they did come from the US, so it's not something you can really complain about. Um, I was in a hurry because, as I said, my car was in the shop, it was almost ready to leave by the time they came, so I wanted the car to leave altogether. They did come in time. Um, so some issues that I came across during the install was um, Okay, so firstly, the install guide, the guide that they give you on, on the net was totally useless. Um, the other thing is BMW have a lot of different, um, there's a lot of different makes and models and things change from different countries and, and things like that. So I wasn't expecting them to be a straight plug and play, um, but it was reasonably easy to install, um, but the guide was useless. So some of, the issues, some of the issues I had when I received these were the headlight adjusters or the whole headlight um, the whole headlight assembly inside, so the whole globe assembly as such inside the headlight was loose. Um, so when I tried to level the headlights when they were fitted, they kept popping out, so I had to really squeeze them in, and I had to mess around for a while, but eventually I did get them to stay inside. Um, they came with a blown bulb, and I'm guessing that's because they were rattling around in there and it busted on the way over. And I had to buy a new set and spend $100 on a new set. Um, I know that is expensive for a set of globes. Um, they are D2S Zenon bulbs. I know that's expensive, but um, well, like I said before, I was in a rush to get the car out there, so I had to um, just get whatever I could. Um, I definitely didn't have time to ask Gumnitsa to send out a new pair, um, even though I did after. Uh, the other thing issue I had was the bulb holder wasn't functioning, so the, the holder that holds the bulb um, the Zenon bulb in wasn't functioning and I was wondering why. Tried to chase up some from other people and didn't have any luck here at all but what I found was happening is the little centre post inside the holder. Every time you push the globe in the post was falling falling out so I had to actually modify that to get that to stay myself. Um, I needed to rewire my turn signals. Um, again that wasn't that's not something that's their fault because like I said some have four wires, some have two there's too many different makes and models for them to cater for everyone. Mine only had two, so um, yeah. The thing that was annoying, they've given me two different turn signal bulb holders with it. So the left and right one are different. One uses the angled um, angled bulb, so the bulbs that have the pins that are angled, and the other uses the ones that are straight. So I don't know why they did that, but that's extremely annoying because now I have two different bulbs in my car, and if one blows or whatever, I've got to carry two types of bulbs. So that's a real pain. Um, what else we got here? Uh, so one side of the LED angel eye stopped working um, after about a week, so I had to get a um, replacement LED driver box from Umnitsa. Um, they did send that out um, 
and I think all I had to pay was postage, but I did get a, I bought a spare one again just in case. They've been fine ever since, so they've been fine since around December, it's now March, so they've been fine ever since, which is good. Um, and one headlight has got a lot of silicon kind of all over it and the other one doesn't, so I don't know what the deal is there. Um, but yeah, so after all this happened and I finally got them fitted and I was, they were finally working, I was finally happy with them. I did email Umnitsa with a full list of the issues I had and I asked for some reimbursement uh, because of the bulbs I had to buy and just all the issues I had to go through. So we discussed, discussed some options for the reimbursement, um, but then I never heard from them again since the 16th of January 2015. So um, that's fine, whatever. Um, so things I really like about the lights is the angel eyes dim when you turn the headlights on because they are very, very bright. So I was thinking I'm going to blind people at night, but when you turn your headlights on, they actually dim, which is really good. They are auto leveling, so they kept my factory feature of auto leveling, which is great. They look good and they fit very, very well. Um, I'm just going to show you some video clips of how they fit. And yeah, they fit very well, they look awesome. I'm very, very happy with the fit and finish of them. Um, the actual bulbs, the 6000K D2S bulbs, are very bright. I'm really happy with them. So. All in all, I'm really happy with the with the finished product. I just maybe just so much wasn't happy with the way, I suppose the way they were constructed and some of the some of the issues I had with the bulbs being blown and and the the bulb holder not holding the bulb in properly and things like that. Um, I think there's just quality issues on their side they need to look at. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I think they look really good. I'm really happy with them. Um, so I've had them for about three three months now or so and I've been really happy with them. The bulbs have been, been good ever since or the new bulbs I replaced have been good ever since. The angel eyes have been good and uh, everything else still works still works pretty well. They don't didn't give me any error codes whatsoever. Um, so yeah all in all I'm I'm pretty happy. Um, just for that price you're paying, you know, one and a half thousand dollars around that might have been more, might have been less. For that price you're paying I would expect that they would at least give me the same indicator. Um, holders on both sides and, and the bulbs wouldn't be blown. That's that's kind of out of their reach, I know. When it gets sent over, they get knocked around and stuff, but the fact the bulb holder was damaged and, and the thing was loose, um, they'll pack pretty well as well, which I was amazed that it was damaged, but um, yeah, so as I said, happy all in all, just a few little quality issues, um, but once they're all sorted, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with them, so I hope this review helped. Um, so these headlights are for the BMW E39 5 Series. I think they went from 97 to 03. Mine's a 97 model, and these are called the Projector 39 uh, headlights. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.